the Bravi, Leonardo. Those who intend to use any machine with characteristics of weight, height, width, length or complexity, which differ significantly to the training they have received, should ensure that they receive a familiarisation to cover the differences. It is the employer's responsibility to ensure that all operators using equipment are adequately trained and familiarised to comply with current health and safety legislation. Machine specific familiarisation should follow on from basic training and cover the manufacturer's instructions and warnings, features of the specific model, control functions, safety devices and emergency lowering procedures. All of the above are to be found in the operator's manual supplied with the machine. The operator's manual is located in the platform in the black box. The maximum working height of the platform is 4.9 meters. The maximum height of the platform is 2.9 meters. The maximum capacity is 180 kilograms or one person. Your machine may have hydraulic ramping built into it by design. This means that the machine may not stop immediately when a controller is released. Decals are located around the machine. Familiarise yourself with the different decals ensuring that you understand items such as safe working load, wind speeds, floor loadings, crushing points. Base control checks. This is the main display for the control system and shows useful information regarding the status of the system as well as diagnostic information. Three position key switch. The key switch selects between off, ground and platform. When the key switch is in the central position, off, the key can be removed. Emergency stop. If the system behaves in an unexpected fashion or if there is an urgent need to stop all the motion of the vehicle, the switch must be firmly pushed to cut the power off. Up key. When the three position key switch selects the ground station mode, this key can be pressed to raise the platform. Down key. This key can be pressed to lower the platform. The machine is able to be lifted by a forklift. The forklift engagement points are located at the bottom of the machine. The machine is equipped with a safety bar. This operation must be performed when only maintenance activities are required in the main base unit. Select the ground station mode and now elevate the platform up to a height of 1.5 meters. Put one hand under the exit of the safety bar and at the same time pull back the black pommel. The safety bar will now fall. Accompany it down with the hand until it stops. Remove the base covers from the machines. Now using the ground control panel, lower the platform this now supports the platform so that maintenance procedures can be carried out safely. To put the safety bar back into the desired position, elevate the platform 4 inches and now pull the black pommel and elevate the safety bar back into its storage position. Now fit the panels back to the ground station and secure and lower the platform to the ground. Platform control. The lift key and drive key are used to select which mode the vehicle is set to. Select lift lower or drive mode at the touch of a button. Wheel blocking device will activate the wheel blocking device, thus enabling the driving of the vehicle only along a straight line, both backwards and forwards. The LED lights indicate that the wheel blocking device is activated. The LED off indicates that the device is deactivated, thus enable normal driving in every direction. 
Mode key lift and lower. The LED indicates that the lift lowering function has been selected. When it is in the off position, the lift lowering function is not selected. Battery gauge. This is a 10 segment illuminated display that gives the state of charge of the battery. One LED equates the minimum battery charge state. When 10 LEDs are lit, this indicates the maximum charge state. The joystick controls the driving of the vehicle as well as the platform ascent and descent. The push button on the top of the joystick is used to enable the joystick commands and must be pressed at all times when the joystick is being operated. When in drive mode, releasing the joystick button will stop the vehicle. Wonder leading or dog walking. It may be possible to use the upper control platform when standing on the ground next to the machine. When using the controller in this way, always ensure that the control box is correctly orientated around to the chassis and that you are standing clear of the machine. Emergency stop button. If the system behaves in an unexpected fashion or there is an urgent need to stop all the motion of the vehicle, this switch must be firmly pushed to cut the power off. Emergency lowering. When carrying out this activity, ensure that there are no obstructions in the intended path of the vehicle. This can be done in two different ways. Firstly, using the emergency lever. Secondly, using the down keys on the ground control panel. To use the emergency lever, this is situated on the side of the platform in the lateral position. Pull the emergency lever and the basket will smoothly start coming down. After the emergency lowering has finished, release the lever to restore standard operating conditions. Climb into the platform using the access gate. Ensure this lowers behind you. Your machine is equipped with double extension decks. Standing on the main platform, use the two black handles either side of the platform and pull down. Now push out the extension decks according to the distance that you need. Before lowering, ensure the extension decks are fully retracted. To secure the machine, ensure the machine is fully lowered. Both emergency stops are fully in and the key is turned to the off position and removed to isolate the machine.